Good afternoon subscribers, it's Geekonomics here once again and today I embark with um, a little video for those of you who are analysing data which is presented in the form of charts. Now the reason I've been prompted to do this is because recently my year 11 students have had their mock exams and uh, my year 10 students have also been doing a couple of questions and the same old errors keep creeping in. So I thought I'd just push this one out here and hopefully this will help to clear the decks with regard to seeing this error and this type of error on a repeated basis. So the question refers to interpretation of charts. And I hope you can see this one okay ladies and gents, but this is a a graph which is showing the monthly percentage change in average UK house prices. And part of the question says, please tell us what is happening to house prices over the duration of the time period shown. Now, this is percentage change in price. So in August, for example, August 2009, prices have gone up by around about 0.6-0.7%. In September, prices going up by 1.6%. In October, prices going up by 1.1%. Now, the key trap which people fall into is this. They see September at 1.6%, and then they see that the bar right next to it is only sitting on 1.1%. And so when they are asked to then describe the data, what they say is happening to house prices is they say that house prices have fallen from September until October. Well, of course, you and I know that that is not the case because as long as the bars are positive, house prices are always rising. So what is going on if they're not falling in price? Well, it's quite simple. It means that in October, the rate of increase in the price of the houses was less than the rate of increase in September. So house prices still went up in October, it is simply the case that they did not go up as significantly as they did in September. And we can see that across all of this data. Anywhere where we've got positive bars above zero, house prices are always rising. The only time we can see here house prices falling is when we dip beneath the zero line. So February, April, May and June in this particular instance. In that instance it would be appropriate for example to say that in March house prices rose by 1% but then they fell by 0.1% in the April, the following April, that would be okay to say that. So you've got to be really careful ladies and gentlemen, the exam board they often put this type of question on the exam paper primarily because People often get it wrong and that you know, there's a deliberate attempt here to try and trick you and just, just catch you out. But if you're just careful, you'll be able to manage. So I'll just show you another example of this in another data set. So this is from, uh, this is from Trading Economics. And this one is for uh, UK food inflation um, across the last year or so. And again, what's happening to food inflation from... January 2017. So food prices rose by 0.2%, then by 1.2%, etc. So always going up. Now, if you were asked, for example, to compare July 2017 with August 2017, and you said house price, sorry, house prices, food prices fell, well, clearly that would not be the case because food prices they simply rose at a slower rate. But the key point here, ladies and gentlemen, is that they are still going up. Now you'll be presented in the exam, I'm sure, with data like this, and you're always presented with data in an attempt to try to get you to say the wrong thing. But just be sharp about it, be clever about it. Again here, the only time house prices are rising they're rising all the time here, these blue bars. The only time that house pr sorry, food price inflation is falling is in this bar, this bar, this bar. We've got falling prices because we are below the zero line. So as long as you just keep a careful eye on that, you should be okay.
So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to mention that today. Bye for now.